Hey guys, this is uh, my Swap Me Treasures again, and it is September 8th, 2013 in Norwalk, California, that's Southern California. This is Mac from OldMiniBikes.com, and I'm 61 years old, so I don't know how much longer I'm going to be doing these videos, but I'll keep it up as long as I'm around and uh, able. Anyway, here we go. I'll show you some of the stuff I got. But first, I want to show you if you turn your shirt around backward from the fun day 2 ride that we had, you can have Evil Ed on the front of your shirt. Ha ha ha! Alright. Okay, now let me see what I got. Okay, my fiberglass guy got me a couple of these. I usually pay ten bucks a piece for, to have these things made. This is a couple early Challenger. See my memory. Challenger, Powell Challenger covers. Here's one long tail cat cover that I had made, and you can trim it, you make it for the Eliminator, the 250X cat, whatever. Or you could just leave it long and put it on the Dominator, whatever. Anyway, then somebody had these made up. Some kind of rook cover. I don't know if it's a TT500 or what, but had these made. Somebody had these made up and he had them available, found them at the swap meet, and I got them. Anyway. They're fiberglass, they won't break. Okay, then a friend of mine showed up at the swap meet and had this exhaust pipe for a tilt engine Tecumseh. And he had the drop slant manifold and a funky carburetor for it. I guess it's supposed to crisscross back and forth over this way, the way it's built here. I don't know. That's a rup cycle, mini cycle, Mac don't do mini cycles. Anyway, those were ten bucks a piece. And the same guy had these wheels. Azusa TriStar says 20 psi, so it's an early, uh, it's an early late one. <laughs> if there is such a thing. Anyway, I guess they made them 20 psi on there. People were probably scared of that, so so they made this newer one here. This is just painted black. This one says 30 psi maximum. This one has a little spacer, has the sprocket here. And of course, you know what this thing came on. It was on a... You didn't see that bearing fall out, okay? It was on a Joe's mini bike frame. I'll show you the frame later. Anyway, those cost me 30 bucks for the two wheels. And then, I found this garden tractor transmission there. Can I put this on a mini bike? So I can have reverse? Anyway, I know it's got forward and reverse. It's probably got three other gears. Because another transmission I have like this, Peerless, has one, two, three, and R for reverse. And this one doesn't say anything, but probably is a three speed forward and one reverse, but I don't care. Anyway, for five bucks, it couldn't go wrong. Okay, then that clears off this table here. And are you still there? Here's the Joe frame. It's okay. Over that away, buddy. Around the camera. Don't go in front of the camera, bud. Ha <laughs> somebody trying to step in the way of my filming. <laughs> anyway, looks like somebody took an old motorcycle jacket or something and made a seat out of it. Anyway, it's a pretty good shape. High speed forks a little bit there that they kind of straightened them out. So this was $30 for the frame and $30 for the wheels. I got about 60 bucks tied up in it. And if you're still listening, I picked up this little bike. Ow! Didn't come with the seat. And it didn't come with the throttle here or this other grip here, but it was a rolling frame. I put the seat on it. And I'm starting to get it ready for Craigslist. 
anyway, this was over there. They wanted 150, and I asked them to take 100, and he said, yeah. So I got it. It's a 69 250X cat, HP Muskin cat. It has the hub over here. It came with a sprocket, but the sprocket was like a, like a saw. You could saw wood with it. Anyway, it's pretty good shape. So now we just put it online. And that's it. That was today's. Now we just wait till next week. Because today is Sunday. And you guys go back to work. And I go back to waiting for the next swap meet. So take her easy, guys. And don't forget Joe's Mini Bike Reunion, September 21st. That's in like two weeks from today in La Crescenta at, at uh, I guess, Crescenta Valley Park. Something like that. Anyway, check Joe's Mini Bike Reunion.net and you'll see his little uh, website there. And hope to see you guys there.